Well, it's that time of the night. Thought about moving somewhere in Chicago Heights on Euclid. I'm like, no, this place, it looks like a house. But it's an apartment. I'm not trying to move in something like that. And the place is like, <clears throat> I want to say the place was made in 1912 or some shit, man. Old school. Like one of them places back in the 20s where the mobsters used to be. Speaking of which, a lot of people don't know a lot of Chicago mobsters had homes over there in Chicago Heights. There's some historic houses in that area that's infamous, man. They sing the most famous one. Who should not be named? Because y'all already should know who I'm talking about. Had a house in the Heights. And they were back in the 20s. There was an underground spot where his car was. <clears throat> so he had his little getaway house over there. And if the cops were trying to get at him, he would just roll up in his car and roll out. Now that's some dope ass shit. I'm really feeling that, man. But I don't know what type of house this shit is, man. When I be thinking about old houses and, and such like that, I think old plumbing, bad water, this and that. And then you never know in Chicago, I said they got roaches. I'm hoping they ain't got no roaches, no rats. That's not the problems I've been trying to deal with, man. That's number one. But my ultimate wish is to have, like, something on the first floor with a balcony, a washer and dryer hookup, nice one room that's spacious that I can put probably a king size, California king up and down, feel me? some internet access I ain't really looking for something spectacular you know what I'm saying but the south suburbs as I've been looking for apartments lately it really upsets me that these days it's like the uh, south uh, suburban Chicago it's not the same how it was. Like, it's getting worse out here. Every day, I, I just go out, ride around town, and I'm like, this can't be Hazelcrest. Like, the, the whole atmosphere is just completely different than what it was back when I was growing up. And it's getting just worse and worse. And I really don't know why. <clears throat> A lot of bit, a lot of people have been saying that it's because of Section Eight. It was a lot of people from Chicago ended up moving to the South Suburbs, and then we're dealing with a lot of uh, white flight at the same time. So both of that might be going on. But when it comes to like Hazelcrest, Hazelcrest has always been a place for like professional black people. So, it we always had a lot of black people in Homewood, in Hazelcrest. It's no, it's really no biggie, you know what I'm saying? So, see the difference is right now is, it's a whole different group of people that's living out there, and they're still black, but they just don't have the same mentality middle class mentality you know people that grew up in the city grew up in the projects and this and that they have different ways than the people that grew up middle class it's just the truth man and then once you live in the city you don't you don't never get the city out of you 
And just like a person that lives in the suburbs, they don't get the burbs out of them. It's just, it just that's the way we're we made out. I'm not sure why that happens. You just stuck. Because I know a lot of people that be in the hood and shit. And they end up getting out the hood. And to this day, you can always tell. Because they always want to make sure that they got the nicest stuff. Everything got to be name brand. Name brand this. I got to have the Gucci bag. Got to have the Gucci belt. Gotta have the Jordans. All the nigga trinkets. Shit, gotta have the rims. They don't think the way middle class people think. It's the way I think is. I'm thinking house. That's the first thing I think. If I get a lot of money, I'm gonna get a house. I'll get a sensible car. I'm not getting a fucking... I don't know. I don't even know what the cars they all get these days. What, an Escalade? Shit. Like, for what? What you flossing for? And then you ain't got no money in your bank account. What about investing? Well, you don't invest, man. <clears throat> then some people, you can't talk to them. And I be telling these young kids out here, save your money and invest in yourself. Because working every day, and then it was time for you to retire, what do you got? How are you going to retire? Think about 401k. Think about mutual index funds. Think about putting some stuff into the stock market. Feel me? But at this day and age right now, it's understandable because it's some, we got some crazy times when it comes to COVID. And all that's going around right now. You just, we don't know what's going on. Things get rough. But I'm just talking about the future, man. I ain't talking about you got to do it right now. The future. And as we sit out here, we watching the night fall again. On the second night. I just want y'all to reminisce. And maybe take out a piece of paper and just start writing out some of your dreams or some of the things that you want to accomplish this year. It's almost about to be February. Wait, what's your plans for this year? What what things you about to do to take yourself to the next level? You feel me? Think about that. Put that in your head. And then leave that down in the comments. You feel me? One thing for me is I always want to own my own business. And I have at a certain degree, but I have never pushed it to the level where I'm I'm making like the type of money that I want to make like consistently. That's the thing about working every day compared to being an entrepreneur. You know, and it's harder actually to be an entrepreneur than being somebody that's going to work a, a nine to five job because nine to, job, nine to five, you don't really work that hard. When you're an entrepreneur, you got to work all day, every day, constantly to find, you know, the things that you got to do to make, uh, to get things popping. But uh, that's one thing I'm working on right now. I got a couple plans, but I'm not going to share it right now. Because, you know, sometimes when you take a plan and then you tell somebody else about it, they try to thwart your plans. So, sometimes it's best to be hush-hush, don't say nothing. Any big thing that I've ever done in my life, I'm usually hush-hush about it. Because somebody's going to try to talk you out of it. And they don't know your life like you know your life. Right? Sometimes you got to do some shit that probably not good. Well, I'm not saying it's not good, but like morally, good or bad. No, I'm talking about something that's uh, not in your comfort zone. And 
And that's one thing I've been writing my memoirs about. Because I went through some shit. It's going to be crazy when this book hit, man. I can't wait for y'all to get y'all hands on it. I might be writing a couple books. A dating book. Um, my memoirs. Some short stories. Shit like that. That's going to be a little passive income coming from Amazon. So I'm going to do that. I got about 72 pages written off of my memoirs. I was thinking about starting that dating book tonight, but I'm like, see, the thing with me, sometimes I know that that could be like my Achilles heel. I'm the type of dude, like, I'll have so many ideas that I'll never stick to nothing. So I got to just do one thing at a time. Finish one book and then start another book. And this time in this hotel, man, this great scenery right here. Spending time over here with my road dogs. Chopping it up. Hoping y'all doing good. Because we about to prosper this year, man. Don't y'all get on board with me, man. Like I said, write down y'all dreams and aspirations. And I'm going to let y'all know something. Anything y'all want to do, you don't even have to go to school. You want to learn something, use YouTube, man. <clears throat> YouTube is something like you want to get into the stock market. You don't understand what's going on with Robin Hood, uh, Weeble, this and that. Man, just look it up, dude. It's real easy. But I'm going to uh, probably leave my uh, my stuff, my link for Robin Hood. If y'all sign up, we get stocks. And we take care of each other like that. So, with that, I'm going to bid y'all good night. See y'all tomorrow. Peace.